Thanks for asking the question. What do the other wood burning tools do compared to torch paste? And in this video, we're gonna find out. We're going to use the typical wood burning tool and we're gonna use a pen, one of the um, burn pens against my product, torch paste. And here we go. First up is the traditional wood burning tool. I also wanted to show you how long each of the processes take, so take a look at the clock in the upper right hand corner. I used a pencil to transfer the pretty design onto the wood. Guys, I was on the struggle bus with this for eight minutes and was only able to get the H completed. The tip didn't seem to be getting hot enough and I really struggled with the grains of the wood. All in all, I don't think that I did a very good job. Let's take a closer look. Oh, definitely did not do a good job. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the scorch marker. Let's hopefully we'll have better luck. All right, so instructions say you have to dab it a few times to get the um, fluid moving. Um, it wasn't working, so I went to the other end and there was a sponge. Um, but I did go ahead and I did try the marker again and it seems to be working and it's filling in all the places. It's very thin, so I am concerned if it's going to bleed with the grain. Let's see. Oh, no, that didn't work very well with this type of stencil. But maybe you'd have better luck with it um, using it freehand. Let's check out the burn. No, that's definitely not the design I was looking for. All right, next up, torch paste. Now, this video is going to be in real time so that you can see how easy it is to use this product. A little bit of this goes a very long way, so you just apply a little bit to your stencil, take a squeegee, and make sure that you're working that in through the silk screen in this case, but any stencil will work. So get your crickets out, girls and guys, and make up some pretty designs. Now what I'm doing here is I'm removing the excess because such a small amount is needed that just pop it right back in the jar and use it for a project later. All right, let's pull it up and see. All right. So far, so good. Let's take a closer look. And yes, take a look at that. Clean, crisp lines. Fantastic. All right, so let's see how it works with the heat gun. Ready? And here we go. Remember, this is in real time, so we're a minute in. And boom, it's starting to burn as expected. This is my favorite part, is to watch the design come to life. Take a look at that, guys. It's like a little bit of magic, sprinkled in with a whole lot of fun. Have you used any of these products? If so, leave a comment below. I would love to read about your experiences. I'd like to take a moment to thank you guys for watching and thank you so much for suggesting the topic for this video. I had a really good time showing you the differences between the three products. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, would you? Leave a like below and remember to subscribe so you won't miss out on our next project. If you'd like to try Torch Paste, you can purchase it at torchpaste.com or click the link below. Thanks guys!